Hey guys, I'm coming to, to you today with a haul. Um, this is kind of like a little, um, I don't know, baby haul. Um, these are pretty much all the bits, the only things I really need to buy. There's a few bits um, that I might need to get near the time. Um, I could probably, obviously I still need to get the co-sleeper. I'll be buying that off a friend. Um, but other than that, a few, other, that's it. I'm, I wouldn't mind getting a, maybe a boppy pillow if I see one second hand. Um, but yeah. That's it. I've pretty much gotten everything. I think the only thing I've said to Chris, which I think Chris is going to do, is take Sebastian out to buy like a gift for the baby and vice versa. So um, that's the only thing. And I'll do another video about that. But um, I was just going to show you what I bought today. So first thing, I bought some of these little towels. And um, there's only two in there, I think. Is there two? Yeah, two towels. Um or normally I would say I would just use your like normal towels that you've got at home but I our towels are really massive we like big towels and they're really really big um so probably a bit too big for a newborn and Sebastian's got two kind of of his own like I wouldn't even call them baby towels they're more like toddler towels one's a dinosaur one's a duck from Asda and he's quite protective of them he'd be I don't think he'd appreciate it if we used them on the baby or well, he might I don't know but wanted to get the baby like a just one of these kind of halfway in between ones that are quite soft with a little hood so got those from b and m got some of these ultra slim advanced breast pads from boots um i've got some lenny lamb reusable ones like washable ones which i used um and they are really good but i found that you could see them through clothes which i really didn't like so and i did soak i had a really heavy flow as you know last time I had a massive oversupply, so I soaked through them dead quick. So I wanted to just get some disposable ones this time. Um, I might look and see if other people can recommend some non-disposables. Though saying that, I am getting, and that this is one more thing I need to get, is the lily pads, which are a silicone cup that you that kind of put. It's it's designed as a breast pad, but it's non-absorbent. And the idea is, I think what it what it does is it. it puts a bit of pressure on the breast to stop leaking, um, and uh, or reduce leaking I think and people have said that they're fantastic and you can like get away like if you were wearing like you wouldn't be able to see your nipples through them for example a bit like nip like those nipple gel pad things that you get um, to stop your nipple showing they're kind of like that so I thought they would be perfect so I'm gonna order some of those but I've also got some of these these would be really good I think I'm gonna open them up and have a look at the end and see what they're like Okay, I got some maternity, ultra slim maternity pads. Um, I might get some reusable postpartum pads. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Um, as you guys know, when I'm not pregnant, I use a moon cup because I find that CSP or rumps, reusable menstrual products that are not like moon cups or that kind of thing, um, I, I find them really uncomfortable. So I assumed I'd find the big um, postpartum reusable maternity pants are comfortable so I just got these I'm not a fan of the big thick ones that you can get in boots these are the dead slim ones I had similar ones from mother care when I was pregnant with when I had Sebastian and they were really really good so I've just got some of these to start with I'll get more nearer the time if need be um, this is for my breast pump that's on its way um, this is uh, just the nipple funnel the nipple shield that goes on top of the breast pump now I, I didn't even know this because my first breast pump was terrible um but they come in different sizes and it's quite important you get the right fit so this is a small i've tried it it seems okay so hopefully fingers crossed this fits um if not i'm stuck because i can't return them but hopefully hopefully that they that should be fine um these were like dead cheap in they were like a couple of quid in uh b and m so i've got some these are for sebastian i had promised myself i wouldn't get him any more tummies but um yeah we've had a few incidences where we've gotten a dummy and we, well we tried to take it off him not take it off him but try to like wean him off it like gently of course um you know not had it in the car and stuff and it's been awful so um i've, I've got some of these because they were cheap and um yeah i don't know we will if anyone knows i think we're going to do like the whole dummy fairy type thing or like dummy box like give it to another child who needs it like near the time my biggest concern is obviously if he sees the baby with a dummy he's going to want it because a lot of people have said that that has been an issue so i don't know when we're going to start doing the whole weaning off a dummy but there you go i've got some spares anyway and that could be used for the next baby there you go they were so cheap dummies are so expensive 
anyway got this baby bath foam support um a lot of people use like the shaped ones. oh my phone's going off um but i found them really expensive and this was like i have to say though i did get this from mother care and it was eight quid which is really expensive but it's a more solid one um i didn't want to i didn't want to risk buying one on ebay just because i didn't know what you know um yeah i just didn't want to buy one on ebay this for this particular item um and what i always did was put it in the baby bath like so um and it's really good as like a grip and then as they start to get bigger you can use it in the big bath and when they start sitting up they can sit on it so that's what we did with sebastian and it was the best kind of ache well i think ours was cheaper last time i'm sure we got it from poundland but i couldn't find any others and it's so cheap and it's just uh it's so much better i think um so yeah i got one of those and again got a baby bath and this was only like seven quid um i really like baby baths for little babies and um i just think it'd be nice for sebastian to help out i did think about just getting like a big tub like one of those like i don't know even like a washing up tub but um I just think it's long and it's like it wasn't expensive it was like just over five or so i just thought i'd get a proper baby bath here are all my receipts um let's get rid of those um i did get some batteries uh for like you and the sheep and various other kind of sleep devices that sebastian has i don't know whether to get another you and the sheep actually because sebastian still uses his but we do have one of those um like um you know the turtle that glows and does kind of white noise so we might just use that for the baby um i got a toothbrush and i got this toothbrush because it packs away um i probably will have had need a new toothbrush by the time the baby's due but um i just like the fact that it packs away and is dead good for like the hospital bag or whatever because obviously i am gonna have to pack a hospital bag um and i got one of these for that as well um I, this is the only mini I bought for the hospital bag because I'm just going to bring everything that I like. There's no point in getting all the minis. And last time I packed loads of like, oh, I packed loads of like hand cream and this and that. And like none of it was used. So I'm literally just going to pack like the bare minimum, like what I actually use and um, toothpaste and a toothbrush and some Vaseline. And that will be literally it. And then obviously my face cream that I use every morning and evening is dead small anyway. Um, I'm going to do another video actually soon because I can't still can't decide if I want a home birth or a midwife led unit birth there's there's reasons why most of it's to do with Chris actually in his house so I'll do another video on that and uh, maybe you guys can help me with the decision oh and another thing I know I've just noticed look on the baby bath it's got like a little drainage thing so you don't have to like lug it so yeah well that's good so yeah you don't have to like lug it about i suppose or you can just leave it in the bath anyway uh yeah i'm rambling so and i got this which i really like i kind of like this for myself i like this for this room it's a really nice color this is from tk max and it was only a tenner um because they had some mother care for like 18 quid and it's absolutely massive and i thought this would be really good to I'm going to probably get rid of that other toy box, the one from Ikea with the baby toys, and put all the baby toys in here so that it doesn't take up so much room in the front room. Um, but I don't know, it could even be used as like a dirty wash, but I just really like it. I wish I'd got the other one now. There's a, There was a smaller version. I might have to go back and get the smaller version. But um, I really like the colour of it and stuff. And uh, if I had, if, if this baby had a nursery, I'd probably do like this sort of colour, I think. With a bit of grey or something i don't know but anyway that's kind of it for the um haul um i did sorry i have also ordered um some bottle brushes and stuff just because obviously I, if i express and not just that to clean like bits of the breast pump and also i've noticed some of sebastian's like plastic beakers like the tubes inside are kind of getting moldy so just be mindful if you guys have like the toddler plastic beakers like take them all apart because there's bits that you wouldn't normally think can go a bit manky and they do so i've got some tiny ones to kind of clean in there so i've ordered those off ebay i've ordered some more of the cloth face wipe type things that i'll be using as cloth wipes um i've ordered my breast pump and i have ordered some compartments these cool kind of like travel packing compartments they come in different sizes so that when you pack your suitcase or pack your bag you can put everything roll it up tiny and put it in a compartment that way if i say to chris i need my pajamas you can just pull out i might even label it i'll go the whole hog you can just pull out like the pajama pack or whatever um 
so yeah so that that's um that's all on the way um so other than that i'm pretty much like nearly ready um it's dead early for me to be ready but at least i'm done now and i can relax um i don't have to kind of rush about at the end um and i'm really excited i know again like i said it is so early but i can't wait until i can film like what's in my it'll be what's in my just in case hospital bag if i do have a home birth and the same with the baby but i still can't wait to pack it and to film it because i love those videos and i know you guys love them too um and i will be doing a what's in my baby's wardrobe because i've just spent the day washing all these little tiny tiny clothes because the reason i started washing them now is because they've been in storage for so long they absolutely stunk. Every time I opened the cupboard, they stunk of this kind of like foul, like just the vacuum suction, suction bags is what they were in and they just smelled. So, uh, so yeah, um, I washed them and um, I'm going to put them away now and that's it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys. So um, I opened up the breast pads that I got from Boots and I tried them on and I think I'm going to take them back. Um, basically, I opened them up and I thought, oh yeah, they look kind of normal. They're kind of like pinched in there, like contoured. Put them in my bra, bearing in mind I was wearing a non, like a sports maternity bra. So like a non, like a sleep bra, uh, maternity bra or nursing bra. So like a non-padded one with a t-shirt on top and a vest top. And though <clears throat> they were quite sort of... You couldn't see a lot, um, but they weren't the most discreet, I have to say. It took a lot of fiddling to get them to do to be discreet. They are really, really big, and they're quite crunchy and papery, and I'm just not sure. I ended up spending pretty much the whole evening researching breast pads. I have got some Lenny Lamb ones, that are uh, washable ones, and a friend of mine's actually going to put some PUR backing on them to make them a bit waterproof, um, and they're really good and comfortable and great only if you're wearing like a padded nursing bra because they show through as well and these probably again wouldn't show through through a padded nursing bra but they are so massive to like stuff them in or to put them in it would just be a bit of a pain in the bum so uh, the lanisol ones i think they're probably going to be about as large but apparently they're really good as well and the tommy tippy ones um or is it the johnson's ones are a lot smaller um so I don't know. Um, I'm going to ask a few. There's a company in America that do things. Uh, uh, dispose. Uh, br uh, I'll try to turn you to face me. Sorry, I'm all ready for bed. There's a company in America who do breast pads called Bamboobies or something. And they're like heart-shaped um, uh, breast pads. And apparently they're really, really discreet. Um, that's my biggest issue. is isn't even so much absorbency. I don't mind changing them every five minutes. But as long as they're discreet, then that's my that's my thing. Um, but you can only really get them in America. So I have some friends in America. I'm going to ask them if they can send me some over, if I give them some money. Um, but yeah, so there's the story on the breast pads. I'm going to be taking those back and getting... I'm going to do... A, I'm going to do, a, not now, a review on disposable breast pads um, come the time. Because when I've been looking, there hasn't actually been that many. So I'm going to review a bunch of them and we'll see how we go anyway that's the end of that video see you guys soon bye